the values we're getting for both G and the temperature of the universe is exactly, um, you know, the values that are being measured. And wow. so, uh, but in the case of G, G is one of the big problem in physics. Uh, in quantum theory, the big, you know, excitement with QED and QCD is that there's really high level of precision with the Reinberg constant at 12 number, 12 digit significant digit and so on. In cosmology, G is a big problem because G is only measured to a three, four digit accuracy. And so it's a measured value. There's not, you know, we, you can get about five numbers, but there's a lot of uncertainty on the fifth number. And there's not really any theoretical tenant from which, you know, G becomes a calculated value. Why don't you describe what G is and then what you... G is the gravitational constants. Uh, yeah. It's the uh, ac acceleration of gravity, right? So mm -hmm. it's measured uh, somewhat preci precisely from the Cavendish experiments since, you know, uh, in the 1700s or maybe the 1800s. Um, but, you know, it's never been extrapolated from a theoretical tenant so there's no mm -hmm. you know there's no accuracy past five digits so when you have g in a in a, when you have gravity in a in a quantum uh equation like for for instance g is involved in describing the planck length the planck mass mm -hmm. the and so on all of a sudden, you have a restriction on precision, right? Yep. That's not commensurate with the rest of quantum theory. So, you know, you have a problem there. And so, and since if you have one value in your equation that has a lower resolution, then everything reverts back to that lower resolution. So, um, so, uh, and then as well, it doesn't tell you where gravity comes from, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so all of a sudden, uh, with our equations, we can actually show that G, we from first principle, we can calculate G and get um, 10 to 12 digit accuracy on G uh, for the first time. Yeah. Uh, and so it's very, very powerful. And we know it's correct because from the same equation, you see, because otherwise, how do you know that any number past the three first numbers are correct in your equation? You, mm -hmm. you say, okay, man, the three first number match, but you don't know if the rest is accurate. Um, so, um, but from the same equation, you can flip it around and manipulate it, right? Um, we can, without G though, you, we can get the Reinberg constant, which we know with 12 digit accuracy from measurement. Oh, so, yeah. uh, and, and we get that accuracy from our equation. So we know that it's accurate to 12 digit. So we know that the answer we're getting for G is accurate from, you know, yeah. from that. Makes so, sense. So for the first time. In history, we have, you know, a very accurate value for the gravitational constant. That's kind of cool, but the important thing is that as well, it's telling us what gravity is for the first time because it's tied to the whole, you know, entropy of the structure of the vacuum.